and separate them from the non-hoaxes. In tonight's show, we're stateside as we probe a portly yank for the truth about his alleged did alien abduction. It was like something else, it was real. We're in Camden to interview two suckers about their curdling bloodlust. Vampires, do they bite or do they bite? If you want to put it like that, yes. And we speak to this pajama-clad freak who claims she's been haunted by spirit mice? I've got no life. I used to love cheese and now I can't have any in the house. We've all played around with guinea pigs. But this next chap was playing around with a force he just couldn't comprehend. Have a look at this. I'll put money on it that you shit your pants. Look at this. A discarded one dollar bill. That's right. We've come here to America to speak to a fun-loving American who claims he hasn't slept for over a month. This is his story. Meet Hank Spangler, a man who swears he's made friends with otherworldly creatures from another world. Is this the face of a liar? So, Bob, what happened here one month ago today? I was looking through a, a cupboard and I could see that in the back was this live thing. It wasn't, it wasn't like one of the puppets. It was like something else that was real. Things started to smell fishy, and we were nowhere near the sea. I went to bed later that night, and there was lots of little aliens uh, walking around while I was asleep. So we built this spaceship thing. It was really big, but that one broke. So the Japanese had made another one. I was burned by the alien ship. It was, a, it was large, and it passed by, but I only saw one side of it. Aww. But we were, uh, and then after that, there... As we continued to probe, his web of deceit began to unravel like a ball of cheap wool. And uh, we, the, the two of us, me and the alien, we went over the moon. And uh, when we got to the other side, uh, we, uh, we went trick-or-treating. The moon? The moon, yeah. And um, Bob then produced these images, and although the drawings were quite good... They couldn't trick my professionally trained eye. Dr. Moises' good eye wasn't fooled. Hank Spangler, nothing more than a stupid movie buff with a vivid imagination. Holtz! Poltergeist! ESP! Eskimos! Fiction or non-fact? You decide, because we can't. 